Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 31. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Psalm 8, for the choir director, according to Gatith, a psalm by David. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Set this glory of yours above the heavens. From the lips of little children and nursing babies, you have established strength because of your foes to put a stop to the enemy and the avenger. Whenever I look up at your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place. What is man that you remember him, the son of man that you pay attention to him? Nevertheless, you make him suffer need, apart from God, for a while. But you crown him with glory and honor. You make him the ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and cattle and even the wild animals, the birds of the sky and the fish of the sea, which pass through the currents of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Daniel 7, verses 13 and 14. In my vision at night I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man, coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the Ancient of Days and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. Luke 1, verses 29-33 through 33. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Mark 10, verse 45. Jesus said, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many.